What is up everyone, I am Deviant Cringe, and today we're going to be taking a look at a specific user recommended to me by Exploding Pikachu 747 and um, by the things I've seen, holy shit, are we in for a kicker. Okay everyone, so here is uh, Joaco Productions, uh, time for the final exam, a digital art hobbyist, a creator of uh, Joaco Production Arts, a uh, male from Chile, and uh, and he's been on DeviantArt for 5 years, so he's a veteran at this, so oh boy, we're in for a, we're in for a wallop. Requests are on hold, trades are on hold, paid commissions are on hold, uh, ask me about collabs, on vacation, happy birthday, Joaco Productions, uh, 119 days, well, uh, this is gonna be a pretty good present for you, I can already tell you something. I have Asperger's, Candy the Creepy Fan, um, official stamps done by me, JPA Fan, that's so awesome, he's a fan of his own, uh, own thing. Let's say I'm a general person who likes to draw. What I love are cartoons and elastic characters, but mostly I enjoy drawing cartoony TFs and human characters into it. Oh boy. Be careful about my feelings. Uh, I'm not always gentle and uh, kind as you can expect, but I can get upset easier too. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Currently I'm studying professional graphic design, which I thought for a while between that and medicine. I'm gonna as good as expect it. Let's hope I get lucky enough to handle it. Well, I wish you well in your uh, business pursuits. Language level English expert, Spanish expert, current uh, Smash Brothers mains. Oh yeah, like uh, Smash Brothers, that game where you uh, do absolutely nothing but slap each other off a slab. Uh, also, he has a YouTube channel that's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the interests. Uh, favorite movies, Matilda, that's an awesome movie. Chronicles of Narnia, Ice Age, two awesome movies. Uh, by the way, that one song is just uh, amazing. Uh, favorite TV shows, classics from 1920 to 2005. Before that, Noobish Ben 10, regular show, Slug, Terra, etc. Well, I do gotta agree with you on the whole Ben 10 thing. Like, uh, if you take a look at action cartoons before Ben 10, like, Ben 10 just doesn't hold up a candle to him. Like, take a look at fucking Megas XLR. Like, Ben 10's a fucking bitch compared to that cartoon. Cartoon. Favorite band slash musical artist Van Halen, awesome, Drowning Pool, Crush 40, cool, Two Steps from Hell, mainly rock and techno bands, that's awesome. Favorite books Matilda, Chronicles of Narnia, favorite games Mortal Kombat, Super Smash Bros., Super Mario games, other interests, playing online, drawing TV, and remembering the great classics from my past. And now let us take a look into the, uh, into the pits of hell. So we can see that uh, he also did some of these uh, April Fool's uh, pair things for DA. Yeah, I gotta say, these look actually pretty cool, apart from Steven and his uh, retarded cross eyes. Like, what the fuck's that all about? Oh boy. Uh, yeah. That's uh, that's the thing that I warned you about, everyone. Inflation. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And blueberries. Huh. Huh. Oh boy. What the hell is this? Uh huh. Oh boy. Uh, and plane transformations. Oh my god. Uh, if we take a look at all of these things, we're gonna be here for a uh, fucking hour. Well, uh, he did say that one of his favorite game franchises is Super Mario, so uh, of course we gotta have, uh, yeah. Super Mario Fatty. Uh, fatty bullshit. Uh, yeah. We have fucking uh, Mario, and uh, yeah, look at Luigi's face. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be getting those. And here's Mario, of course, giving a thumbs up to Luigi for becoming a fat piece of shit. Now he can be a reality TV star, like the fucking next Sonny Boo Boy. I swear to fucking god that bitch's parents need to get the shit kicked out of him. Luigi's Snack Time, one of the builders attacking Mario and Luigi, uh, Bowser Inside Stories, the Snack Basket. When you use it, shoots out several snacks and desserts into the sky and fall to Luigi, who must eat most of them. Once Luigi ate enough food, he'll immediately bloat to a large size and bounce onto Mario. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Bounce onto Mario. You're saying that, uh, you get fat, uh, you get this fat and you jump onto him, like, wouldn't that kill him or something? Who now has to hold him up by mashing the A button and he'll throw his bloated brother up who will then perform a body slam and cause a shockwave that will hurt any enemies into the ground. This move is mandatory to the storyline because it's required to make uh, Chakron lose his balance and achieve the third and last uh, star cure he's guarding, commissioned by this guy. By the way, I haven't played this game so don't give me a large ass fuck you for not knowing anything about it. I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to comment on this sooner, it was a mixture of both being busy and not knowing what to say, uh, I still don't have much to say which is a shame because I really, because I really like, because I really do like this, I am a bit surprised that it seems to be a more, more comic than a sequence, but it's nothing to complain about, it's really nice, thank you for this, it was worth the points. No problem. Oh boy, you spent points on a picture of someone eating stuff. Although I do gotta say, you know, it's not like it's badly drawn, it actually does look pretty nice, but uh, you know, huh. 
Oh my god, no! Not fucking Ed and Nettie, you gotta be shitting me! They they have no fucking arms, like, uh... Their skeletons are completely fucking hidden away, and the only thing that's left is this fucking... Wow. W why do they... Why Ed and Eddie? Come on. Like, seriously. You know, everyone, I really don't know what's the appeal to this, you know? Uh, like, what the hell is so awesome about blowing characters up like balloons, you know? And, uh, in hindsight, I probably don't want to know uh, why it's so appealing, because I really hate to find out what they want to do with them once they uh, blow them up. Oh, boy. Ed and Eddie Inflated, requested by the same guy that did, uh, requested the Mario thing, yeah. Pass me the bleach! My thoughts exactly. Those Eds deserved it. Oh, really, Mr. Brony, really? Well, uh, it's kind of not a, not much of a surprise that uh, Brony would be saying something like this, because I do remember that uh, there is one episode of uh, My Little Pony where one of them actually gets blown up like a balloon, so probably they got a boner for that. You! You did it! What, murder of fucking childhoods? Man, Kevin will make fun of the Eds. Well, uh, you, you know, in all honesty, I actually always wanted the Eds to actually beat the shit out of Kevin, because he's a fucking douchebag. Oh boy, everyone, isn't this just beautiful? Now we also get Ness from uh, Mother slash uh, Earthbound. Uh, it's like uh, we're getting a huge gaggle of fucking uh, childhood murdering uh, things. Take a look at those goddamn hands. It looks like it doesn't even have a thumb. You see, this one over here looks like it has a thumb, but this one is just like it was a fucking smashed like a goddamn pancake. At least the face looks okay, but the body itself looks uh, almost like a perfect circle for fuck's sake, you know? Also, take a look at those shoes, like, uh, this one over here looks okay, but this one over here, I don't even know what the hell to say about it. I don't know why, but it just has a weird shape to me, like, it looks so... It, it looks like a... I would want to say a rock. It also kind of looks like a fat bullet. Or, like, uh, a really, really fucked up dinosaur's egg. Ness Inflated, requested by the April Fool's pair. Outstanding job on the picture, really. A standing job, uh, the body is almost a perfect circle and that's outstanding to you. I don't know, maybe he's talking about the head, uh, the arms, and the and the details on the clothes. The body itself is just uh, not outstanding in any way, shape, or form, okay? For a boy, he's quite bloated. Whoa! Well, no shit, Sherlock, he's fucking inflated, you son of a bitch. And of course, uh, we're getting uh, we're getting Earthbound slash Mother characters, so obviously we're gonna have his best friend Lucas. It kind of looks like he's not a, in a in as bad of a situation as Ness is. Like Ness really looked uh, like super huge, but it kind of looks like uh, his upper half is still somewhat okay. I think Lucas could do uh, good with like a lower body transplant or something. Now, um, here's the thing that I've always uh, wondered about these inflation thingies. Did these inflation artists uh, take into consideration internal organs? Like, uh, do they actually envision the characters as, like, having, a, like, expansive internal organs? Or is ju or do they just think of them as, like, uh, elastic-y things, you know? Like, uh, oh, they're, a, uh, they're like a human and all that, but uh, in reality they're just a huge balloon waiting to be inflated. I don't know, maybe they all think their uh, characters are, like, silicon-based life forms and they can be bloated to, bloated to fucking insane, uh, insane fucking sizes. And, uh, I also gotta say, again, uh, the bloating thing is almost a perfect circle, you know, it's, it is hand-drawn, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's the only edge that it has, uh, apart from a perfect circle, but, uh, at least in this one, the upper body and, like, the, the shoes, they actually look a lot better than the first picture. Uh, the hands actually look like hands uh, in, in this one, you know, they have actual wrists, you know, and they have thumbs. Like on the previous one, only the uh, only the left hand actually had a thumb, and I'm like, what the fuck? And the hair and the face are also done pretty well, although I really don't know what the hell's going on with those cheeks. I mean, like, it's look, it looks like one of them's trying to fucking escape. Lucas Bloated, another requested by the April Fool's pair, this time Lucas from Earthbound slash Mother 3. And holy poo poo, uh, if you think you gotta read that, you're fucking insane. Oh god, why this game? As someone with this fetish, I normally respect other people's disgust, since I have the same reaction to certain other fetishes, but uh, nobody cares about the opinion of someone who has an icon of a dude who makes fun of people with uh, reading disabilities. I totally get it, man. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Okay, let me tell you something, uh, the real Mr. Vendetta. You should never, ever apologize for hurting someone's feelings unless they're your friends or family. If it's anyone else, like some random fucker on the internet, who gives a shit if they're offended, okay? If you're offended, you're the problem, and you gotta grow some fucking skin. Ladies and gentlemen, 
boys and girls. We have Flaky. Uh, Flaky from fucking Happy Tree Friends. Uh, probably one of the most brain dead shows in the history of the entire space time continuum. You have got to be shitting me, okay? I know you use this word a lot, but you have literally got to be goddamn shitting me. I honestly have nothing to say about this. Flaky Inflated. Flaky from Happy Tree Friends requested by a smiley face. No, this isn't an allergic reaction. Why? You are my spirit animal. That made absolutely no sense whatsoever. What are you- what the hell are you smoking? Do you still make an inflation request, by the way? Because I would like one of Petunia. Yeah, may I ask a trade or request too? Sure, an art trade sounds nice. Could you draw an inflated Petunia for me? And what would you like me to draw? I'm not sure if you can draw humans, besides Kirby, Spongebob, or HTF characters. I did a picture containing a human in it back then, and maybe I'll improve on them this time. Alright, maybe to start with something simple, would you... Uh, would you it be to draw my Elastigirl's uh, uh, Realastica or L Lilu um, in their classic outfits? You can inflate them if you like. Alright, will do. And ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen the dealings uh, uh, committed in the uh, Fetish Mafia. It's horrifying, isn't it? Well, everyone, uh, that's about it. That was uh, Juaco production art. Um, you know, like, uh, the, their drawings, uh, the drawings are really horrible. They actually do look uh, okay, you know, in terms of quality and stuff, but uh, seriously, like, if you wanna, like, if you have such artistic talent, then why don't you, like, uh, do something, I don't know, something else? Something that uh, would be appreciated by a huge number of the population? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I guess uh, people do whatever the hell they want. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the little bell icon, and as always, I'm Demon Cringe, and I'll be seeing you guys and girls in the next video.